Hello, Shay here. Today's gonna be a little bit of a different whip and chat. Uh, whip, W-I-P stands for work in progress. And chat, we're just gonna catch up. Uh, it's gonna be a little different this week uh, because I am traveling with my husband for work. We're in Austin and I live in Dallas, so we made the drive down uh, yesterday. So it is uh, Wednesday for me slash Thursday for y'all. And I have my diamond painting in front of me. And what we're gonna do is, it's gonna be a little different because normally for my whip and chats, um, I have the my filming arm that goes over, right? And you can see down into my painting. Um, I just thought, I wasn't even sure if I was gonna be able to do a whip and chat or not this week, but I thought I didn't wanna miss it. I wanna you know catch up with you guys and find out how you are. And I thought, no, why not? You know, it doesn't have to be on the diamond painting. It can be face to face. It's real life, it's what I've got going on. So we're gonna work with it. I'm definitely diamond painting because um, there's no kids no cooking it's all about just chilling out in a hotel room while he works so no complaints there okay y'all um so where should we start let me just get my color i'm doing the um let me talk about what i'm working on first i'm a little out of sorts you have to forgive me i am doing a uh, retro santa believe i know he's upside down for y'all i'm on the second i'm on the last square of this row and then i just have one more row and then i'll be done so i'm almost finished um, it's called Reno, Rent, Retro Santa Believe. That was hard to say, y'all. And it's from Diamond Art Club, and it's one of the uh, Hobby Lobby exclusives. And it's a 42 by 42 in centimeters. Great size. I started on it at the very end of November, and today's the 7th. I just don't know what's going to happen is I don't know what I'm going to do next. That's going to be the difficult part is trying to decide what I'm doing next. I thought this was going to take me pretty much through the month of December, but that's not happening. So... Yes, so I've got the Electro Diamonds from Diamond Art Club. They're like these really pretty gold, gold colors, and they have yellow backs, which is kind of unusual, but really pretty gold color. Um, my tray is from uh, Bella Art Day Nicole. It's a green tray. It's one of the large trays that has the dividers, but I'm not using the, the dividers. I just grabbed it because the color. I am using my pens, one of my candy cane pens. This is from Diamond Pen Pal, and it does have the um, flat edge. So no roll stop, it doesn't move whenever you set it down to change colors, to do what you gotta do, go to the bathroom. Um, yeah, it doesn't move and I love it. I got this last Christmas. So Diamond Pen Pal, Bell Art Dana Cole. I am using my um, Harbor Freight containers because there are 36 colors. And you know, there's it's not a very big painting. So I thought two Harbor Freights, because let's see, 24 Harbor Freight containers because the 25th one is actually the, the box that the little containers come in. So I thought two of those going, plus I've got a little extra room on one end to put like extra drills, my pen, all those things. Um, what else am I using? Oh, and I also grabbed my um, little uh, ceramic cutter so I can cut back the plastic because I do have it sectioned off with um, simply gilded washi tape. So those are all the things I'm using. Oh, and in my, um, in my single placer, I have micro glue dots. And in my multi-placer, I have a chit, C-H-I-T, and it's Romanian for putty, and that's from Enablers Outpost. So that's there. All right, so let's get started. This is really weird, doing face-to-face. -face. I actually feel like I've never done a whip and chat before, because it's just a little different. I actually feel like I am filming um, a vlog for my Patreons. That's what it feels like, which I have been. I gave them a little tour of the hotel, showed them around. Um, yeah, so. We got in, well, let's see, let's go back. Let's go way back, way before I left for this trip. Uh, last time we talked was Wednesday slash Thursday of last week. And if y'all have been around for the last few whipping chats, you might've heard me talk about the kit, the, well, not the kit, but the box that I got from a medical professional. And I don't know who sent it or who ordered it, but all I know is I got an email and I've been talking about the last few weeks, but I got an email and then it showed up and I got phone calls, but I got something called ColoGuard. And I guess it's a, it's for test for colon cancer. And you basically have to poop in a box. And I've been putting it off and putting it off. I did not want to do it. And finally I was like, what, what made me do it is y'all, you know, all the comments you're like, just do it. It's not that big a deal. If you wait too long, it's going to expire. I'm like, okay, okay. So I watched a video on how to do all the things and how to collect the sample and get this, I was at UPS because that's where you have to return it or you can call and have them pick it up. But I was at UPS dropping off some, just some holiday, I think it was some uh, dime paintings that I was mailing off for someone. I was there and two different people walked in with their box of poop. And I'm like, all right, all right, it, this must be a sign. 
and the UPS people didn't even like flinch at it, didn't like laugh, get nothing. And I was like, okay. And they just handed it to him and then they gave him a receipt and they were on their way. So it was no big deal. I was like, okay, okay, I could do this. So it was disgusting. I'm just gonna throw that out there and not talk about much else. But here's what it reminds me of. I know most of y'all will know what I'm talking about. And as I was doing it, this is what came to mind and I could not stop laughing. So do y'all remember the Saturday Night Live skit with Justin Timberlake? Deanna Box. <laughs> I basically shit in the box. <laughs> Could be a Christmas gift. <laughs> y'all, shit in a box. I can't say D in the box. I want to say the word, but probably shouldn't. It's got to be somewhat kid friendly. But if y'all have seen the skit, you know, him and uh, I forget the other guy's name, but they basically been giving their D as a Christmas present and they have a Christmas box all wrapped with a ribbon and everything on their junk. So, <laughs> and it's like the size of the box that I had to like poop in. And I was like, I, I, what I thought would be so funny is if I would have put a big bow on top of the box and handed it to the UPS guy, if I would have had more courage, I would have. And here's my shit in the box. can't stop saying it. It's just hilarious. It just makes me laugh whenever I think about it. Um, so yeah, actually I should submit that to Saturday Night Live and maybe they could do a, another skit if they have Colo Guard's permission. I give you permission if y'all are watching. <laughs> um, so that was disgusting. Like I said, my mother-in-law actually and I were talking about it because she's had to do it and we were talking about it in depth because she gets it. She gets it. I get it. I've been there now, done that. Uh, the funny thing is I made sure that I closed the doors to my bedroom and then my bathrooms inside my bedroom. So even, so I had the main bedroom door closed and then I had the French doors closed that go into the bathroom. Cause I just, I wanted hundred percent privacy, right? I didn't want anybody to interrupt me when I was trying to deal with this whole thing and read the directions. And so sure enough, I got it on the counter and I'm, doing what you gotta do to the sample, which I don't know why they have you do what you gotta do because you're already, they're already getting the entire thing. So why do you need to like do a sample in this little vial? I don't understand. Maybe they go to two separate places. <laughs> I don't know. But from what I understand from talking to my mother-in-law, it is better to do it this way than having a colonoscopy. So, you know, I shouldn't be complaining there could be worse things to have to do, right? So as I'm trying to do my sample, well, I've done my sample and it's sitting on the counter and I'm trying to read the directions and I'm totally disgusted. Um, Lou opens the door, my 10 year old daughter. She's like, mom, I was like, Lou, and everybody knew about it. And I'd been getting, everybody was giving me a hard time about having to poop in a box. And I was like, I know, I know. So I told Lou, I'm like, I'm doing the poop in the box, leave. I need my privacy. She's like, oh, and she closed the door and she left. And then when I was done, I come out with my poop in the box and I was like, I told my husband, I was like, hey, do you want some shit in the box? <laughs> you know what I wanna know too? I feel bad for the person that has to accept those. And I mean, I feel bad for the UPS people, but then, I mean, it's inside of a bucket, inside of a, in a you know, a sealed off lid, inside of a bag, inside of a box. So, but there might be mishaps, you know? I know it's all just bodily functions that we all do, and I'm probably being somewhat immature about it, but I it was just something that I've never had to do before. So it was funny. And bodily functions can be funny. I'm a child, I know y'all. So, all right, so I finally did it. I did it, I'm so proud of myself. I'm a big girl now. So I'm waiting for those results. I did get a message from them saying they did receive my sample. So I was like, sweet. It got to its final destination. And then they said they'll notify me with the results in like, I don't know, a week or two. So yeah, but now I'm obsessed with checking the website and logging in and seeing if there's any updates. Mm -hmm. I'm like obsessed with this whole thing now. So yep, yeah, that's me always checking it. Nothing's changed yet. And I just dropped it off on Saturday. Today's, wins today's Wednesday. So I don't know why I keep checking the site. I doubt, well, I know it's way too soon. So yeah, that happened. So I got that done. Um, what other good stuff has happened? Uh, on Friday of last week, we had our family session 
with Rye, my 17 year old. Um, we did the family session of family therapy, my husband and I and Ryan, it was really good. We talked about, um, you know, how he's doing. And one of the concerns that they brought up to me and I had also, you know, been noticing it was he's been very, very tired. And they said he's actually having a hard time staying awake during the sessions, during the day, the therapy sessions and, or falling asleep. So they were a little concerned. She's like, I don't know if it's depression or if it's just lack of sleep or what's going on. So, and I'm very open here about mental health, you guys. Um, you know, for those of you that may not know, it might be new, hello. Hope I didn't scare you off with the poop talk. But um, my 17 year old Ryan um, is um, working through some mental, just some, you know, just some, not mental illness, but just struggles, you know, that we all have with you know just life and it's not easy especially at 17 you know there's a lot of things you've got to deal with drugs alcohol you know all the things mental health is so important and he reached out to me saying he needed help and we got him the help that he needs we're trying to and hopefully it's you know it's, it's everything that we can do for him but um yeah so we've been talking about him not getting enough sleep and so that's kind of been our struggle right now um, and it kind of affected what happened um, this week because, you know, here we are, my husband and I were going to, you know, I'm going on a work trip with him and he, um, and my mother-in-law is going to be, you know, taking care of the kids while we're gone. Well, I normally take Ryan to his program every day because they're really not allowed to drive. I don't know why. I guess there's some kids are at risk, you know, for maybe one, getting there and not even showing up to being a danger to even be on the road or, you know, whatever it may be. I know everyone's got different circumstances, but we let Ryan drive and we've never had any concerns about any of that, but, um, they were concerned about him being able to stay awake at the wheel. So he did not get approval to drive. They're actually going to do evaluation today. And so maybe he'll get to drive the next couple of days. My mother-in-law's had to, um, pick him up and drop him off in the morning, which, you know, can be difficult because it's not like the easiest place to find it's not far from the house it's just kind of confusing it's back like in this medical doctor's office area and it's hard to kind of find it but wow so let's see what else um so that happened friday we had his um his family session which was really good saturday i can't remember what happened y'all sometimes i remember sometimes i don't i think i was just trying to catch up because i don't know i just feel like i've kind of been not kind of feeling blah lately and tired and all the things. So I was like, okay, I need to do some laundry. So I, I think I got caught up on some stuff. And then Sunday was, uh, I did not have my live stream because Lou had her first basketball game and her game was at six and she had to be there like at five 30 and my lives are normally at four. So, um, and I'm sorry y'all if I'm burping, I'm trying not to burp loud, but I had Taco Bell for lunch. Yes, Sunday, and I went out to lunch, y'all. Fancy, fancy. So I do apologize. I'm trying to burp inside my mouth, though. Y'all, this one's just gross. I just need to title this one Gross Whip and Chat. Enter at your own risk. Bodily functions disgust. How about that? Is that what I should label it? Oh, my goodness. Have you even talked about the background? Are we even going to talk? This is not like a green screen behind me. Well, I guess you can tell because the ceiling. Ridiculous, y'all. Love the hotel we're staying at, but oh my goodness, it's a lot of green. All right, we'll get to that in a second. So Sunday, uh, Lou had her game at, um, oh, actually, let's back up. Um, Saturday night, I know what it was, Lou had a friend come over, and she had a play date, and then um, her friend spent the night, and it was about... 7 30 or so eight o'clock and they wanted me to take them to a gas station and get like some candy for the sleepover to like watch a movie and stuff and that's sometimes what we'll do like when she has sleepovers is take them to you know the local like you know walmart or something just to get a little snack or a little treat so they asked me and i was telling my husband that i was going to go to the walmart to go you know take him to get a snack and he goes do they want to go to bucky's say what bucky's that's like a trip trip. That's like a big trip, like a road trip thing. What are we talking about? And he, because it's only 19, mi 19 miles away. And I was like, I'm not going to Bucky's, but if you want to go, go ahead. I'm sure they would love that. So I asked the girls and they're like, yeah. I said, well, let me ask her mom first. So I asked her mom 
and I did make dinner by the way um I wasn't sure if um if she was like had any her mom said she didn't have any food allergies but I thought oh let me make dinner so I made um spaghetti with salad and something else but yeah so I did make dinner for everybody and then they wanted to go to so my husband took him to Buc so first of all we checked in with her mom and she said sure so they went to Bucky's and my husband brought home beaver nuggets and these cinnamon, really yummy cinnamon, almost like cinnamon beaver nuggets and all kinds of goodies. So they had a really good time. And then in the morning, they woke up and said they wanted to go to Dunkin' Donuts. I mean, y'all, we just were having all the healthy stuff here. And then my husband's like, I don't want Dunk because he's gluten free. He's like, I can't do a donut. Can y'all just go to Starbucks? And the girls both looked at each other and were like, how about a donut from Dunkin' Donuts and a drink from Starbucks? I'm like, oh, sure. That's why I'm here is to Uber y'all around. Um, uh, sure. So we hit up both and it was a lot of fun. So we did that Sunday and then her friend left um, Sunday around like one-ish. Cause you know, she had the game and, but they didn't stay up too late. It didn't seem to affect her, which was good. The game was interesting. And thank you all for the ones that have checked in and you know asked how the game was and how it went. I really do appreciate that. It's nice of you all to think about us and remember that she had her game. And it was good. They did lo they did lose. I almost said they did lost. They did lose, uh, but that's okay. I think the team had definitely um, played before and maybe have been together before this year. And lose team, it's a combination of girls that have played before and ones that haven't, that have never played. And lose never played before. But, and they only had one practice beforehand. But yeah, it was, it was, what was crazy about it is how aggressive basketball is. And I know that sounds kind of like, like naive, like you didn't know that. I guess I didn't realize how like, I mean, you gotta get in there and girls can be a little like push, pushing and shoving and like, you know, backing their backs up into you and kind of pushing you out of the way. It can be a little aggressive. And the parents were kind of, no one was yelling at anybody, but they were like, get up there, get it. You know, put your hands up and just screaming at them. And Lou was super nervous before the game. So nervous too. She was like, mom, my stomach hurts. I feel sick. Cause she was just had anxiety. You know, she was so nervous. And she goes, what if I'm afraid, you know, dad and Ryan are going to yell at me if I do something wrong. I'm like, girl, no one's going to yell at you. No, no, we're not doing that. Parents, she's like, what about other parents? If I do something wrong? I'm like, no one's going to be mad at you. This is rec, recreational, uh, you know, basketball. They, a lot of y'all have never even played before. You're 10. I'm like, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. And so she hustled. I have to say without her really knowing what was going on, she was sticking with the ball. Um, it was almost like you've heard people describe like, like little ones that are playing soccer, like beehive soccer, because they all kind of like follow the ball and no one really like stays in their positions. Well, I don't think they had enough time or practice to talk about positions. So they were just like, it was like beehive basketball. They, and she ran, I have tried to take a couple of videos and you can, when you rewatch the video, I'm like, <laughs> cause she's just, I mean, as soon as the ball would get rebound, I don't know all the rules or all the terminology, but rebounded to the other way, all the girls were like, doo -doo 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 and they were just like running back and forth. It was so cute, but she was hustling and hustling and she does have exercise induced asthma. So we have to be careful. And I did have her inhaler and the coach knows. So, but her face was getting red, her cheeks were getting red and she was drinking her water and he started her. So that was awesome. But she got to sit out, you know, uh, there's, there's 13 girls on the team and I think they play five at a time. So I don't think all 13 could show up that first for the first game, but she was out there quite a bit. And then they let her sit out and rest for a little bit and then she'd go back in, but she tried, um, she tried to make a couple baskets and, uh, you know, she was getting in there and kind of just getting used to it all. And I was proud of her. So she did really good. And she plays again um, this Saturday at one. So that'll leave Sunday free, which will be really, really cool. I will have to probably adjust my life schedule because, um, you know, it looks like her games kind of, you know, fluctuate and they're, they're, they're Saturday and Sundays. So the days, the weekends where her games are on Sundays, I don't know if I'll be able to go live. Uh, so we'll see. I know y'all will be okay. So let's talk about this painting just for a second before I start talking about what else has been going on. Um, this is, like I said, that retro Santa Believe, that Hobby Lobby exclusive from Diamond Art Club. Um, I ran out of a color. Yes, I've never run out of a color before. I panicked, I freaked out. Um, if you have kind of been around for a little bit, you may have heard me or Randy, Randy as you can call me butter, that's my girl. Um, 
you heard about, maybe her talk about how Shay just dumps her drills in the trash or in a jar. I don't keep my drills. I don't save any leftover drills. And she does. And she's always giving me a hard time. And I'm like, I'm not gonna need them. I've never needed them. We'll never say never, y'all. I I was like, I had my tail between my legs, uh, contacting her to tell her that I ran out of a color. And she was like, what? What? <laughs> she loved every second of it. Every second she loved. But when I do a post review of this video, uh, this painting, I'll definitely discuss it. But that was that was a bummer that I ran out of a color. I did, like I said, she looked up her, all her drills and she had a couple of the color that I needed. It was a four, five, one. So it's like a really light, like a taupe, a brown color, like a beige. And she was gonna be busy the next day because I asked her if I could stop by. She was only about 20 minutes from me. And I have to tell you in the back of my head, I always did, she was like my safety net, right? I thought, okay, if I ever do run out of a color, I can just go to Randy and she'll help me out. Well, Randy has a life and she was busy. And she was like, so I can put them in the mailbox for you. I mean, she was being very, very helpful. And I was like, no, you know, you know what? Let me, let me see if I can improvise. Let me see what else I have. So I started uh, pulling out some of the kits that I had started, but I have not finished some of my other whips. And I did find like four, five, three, like another color that was very, very similar. And I only needed like 10 to 15 drills. So it wasn't short a bunch, but enough to be short, to be out. And that's not good. So I'll let Diamond Art Club know um, that that happened. I don't know if it's happened to anybody else. Y'all let me know if you have noticed that. I have noticed that um, I'm running, I'm getting low on a lot of other colors and it's kind of got me nervous that I'm gonna run out. And maybe this tells me that I need to start saving my drills because the only ones I save are my ABs. I don't save, I, I used to save them when I first started diamond painting for like the first six months and it was just getting larger. The boxes were getting bigger and bigger and bigger and the amounts and I was never using them. And I thought, I don't think I really need to be, because it was taking a lot of time to, you know, y'all know if you keep your drills to de, you know, de, you know, kit down and put them all away. And I love kitting up and kitting down, but I just, I don't know. I just was thought, is this even worth my time to be saving all these and all the space it's taking up and yeah. So that happened, but yes, Randy, she came to my rescue. I just, like I said, it was good for me, but I panicked at first and she was like, I messaged her like immediately. I was like, oh my gosh, I ran out of drills. But another thing that's been happening with this kit is, uh, and my mother-in-law also is working on it. And so she's having the same thing happen. The drills, I don't think it's static. It's more like fusing together, almost like drills. So you've got like, you know, here's the rounded, ed here's the rounded edge, right? And here's the flat edge. Um, here's one flat edge and then here's another flat edge. So you've got the two rounded bits. So they're almost like stuck together back to back flat edge to flat edge Flat side to flat side. I don't know why and The red ones are doing that, but it was really bad on like the tan ones like the lighter cream colored ones Yeah, so I don't know y'all. I mean this should be diamond art club quality Even though it was sold, you know at Hobby Lobby so and I've noticed with these red ones, it's also happening. I go to shake my, my tray and I wish I could show y'all. It's kind of hard from the angle that you're at, but my drills are all kind of balling up together. I don't I don't think it's static because I've had static before and this is like a different, a different thing. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they just didn't separate them well enough or there's something's, something's on them where they're just sticking together. And like I said, I get tweezers and try to like squeeze them apart and they end up going flying across the room. So that's been a little struggle with this kit. Outside of that though, I'm loving it. The colors are super vibrant, reds, greens, the golds. It's, it's really, really fun. So over the weekend I did, I also, um, speaking of red and gold, Christmas decorations, I am officially done with decorating everything. I did, um, I did our tree. I decorated that and kind of wrapped everything up over the weekend and put everything away and kind of said, okay, I'm done. So yeah, decorated the craft room. I have a, uh, I'll have to do, I did it for my Patreons, but I'll have to do a little clip. I think I'm, maybe I'll just do a whole video, like a craft room tour update. Cause the last time I updated, I've done one other craft room tour video and it's been a while and the room's changed a little bit. So, and also it's decorated for Christmas. So maybe someone could get an idea of something they like and they want to use. It's not like it's fantastical or anything, but it's, it's, I'm happy with it. And I spend a lot of time in there. So I, you know, put some work into it, but I've got the, the lit garland kind of behind all my metal cabinets. And then I have a pre-lit, I have a little uh, tree 
and then I have a you know some signs and some greenery hanging some um, holly so yeah it's pretty it's a mistletoe so I'm happy with it but I did that so yeah it, the house is officially done um, I did start Christmas shopping uh, what I need to start doing next week is I need to start wrapping the gifts because I'm running out of room on like where to hide them. That's now what's starting to happen. And I've got like four, like four different spots going and I'm afraid I'm going to forget where I hide something or someone's going to find it. I'm just starting to run out of room of where I'm hiding stuff. So I need to start wrapping. That's my least favorite thing to do is to wrap Christmas gifts. I think last year I did a uh, wrap and chat with y'all. So I might do that again this year just so we can do kind of like this, I guess, you know, where I'm, you know, just wrapping gifts and that's my current whip and we're just going to, you know, catch up. So on this trip, I've been somewhat productive. So let me think, let me see. I did, um, we left Tuesday. So yesterday we left Tuesday morning around like 11. We were trying to wait for a uh, rush hour traffic to, um, you know, be gone. So we wouldn't have to deal with that. So again, I'm from Dallas. So we live in, we're in Austin, right outside of Austin. And my husband has his crypt, uh, Christmas party, company Christmas party here this week. This is where he works during the week. This is actually his, this is where his office is located. And he, um, he got to bring a guest and he brought me. So nice of him. I asked him, I'm like, thank you for inviting me to this. He goes, well, I was going to have, I was going to invite my girlfriend, but I thought that'd be really awkward at a company Christmas party. I was like, boy, don't you even, don't you even. So also, not only is it the company Christmas party, it is his birthday tomorrow on the same day as the company Christmas party. Yeah, so let me tell you all a story about that. So dropped him off this morning at the office so I could have the car today because I wanted to go to the dollar store and get a birthday balloon for him because I have his, I brought his birthday presents and I have them all wrapped and on the table over here behind me. So I was like, oh, I'll get a balloon and, you know, surprise him with a balloon, to, you know, for tomorrow. So I go to the dollar store. First of all, I'm in a city that I don't live in and I don't know where anything is. But before that, I went to the post office and I was proud of myself because yesterday when we got here, he had to work because I have to remember he's here to work, not to play. And I'm like, oh, I am here to play, but I still have to, you know, hang out while he's hanging out. But I got my dime painting and so I brought all my Christmas cards that I needed to do because I'm sending my Patreons cards and then some other folks that um, I wanted to send cards to. So I have about 60 cards that I need to do. So I was addressing cards, doing all those things. And so this morning I needed to drop those off at the post office. So I pulled up post office. There's one about a mile and a half from where the hotel is. And uh, the hotel is really, really cool. So let's talk about, I know I'm all over the place y'all. Uh, okay, so I'll, tell, I'll finish telling you that and then we'll talk about the hotel room. So. I go to the post office, drop off um, the cards. Now I have two cards that need to go to Canada. And I wasn't sure about Canadian uh, postage. So I went up to the guy, got in line and went up, went up and I said, yeah, you know, do you, I need to send these two Christmas cards to Canada. How does that work? And he goes, yeah, there's, there's a special stamp. There's global postage stamp. I did not know that. I was like, oh, cool. And it, was, it wasn't expensive. So if you have to send anything to Canada, I don't know if you can buy, I don't, he didn't offer that service. I don't think you can buy global stamps. And if you work at the post office or know, or have had any experience with this, let me know if I'm, you know, if I'm not saying, but this is what they did this morning. He put like a poinsettia, like a big, it was a big stamp on the area where the stamp goes. I didn't have to fill out any customs forms or, and then um, it was $2 and 80 cents for two cards. I'm like, sweet, done. So I'm happy I got those off. And then, um, I also, um, and then so I was like, I need to go to the dollar store because I need to get a few things. So we'll talk about that in a minute too because I've got something going on Sunday, a little Christmas party that's happening and I had to get some decor for it. I got to get some decorations that I needed for myself. So I went to the dollar store and while I was in there, I was like, okay, I'm going to get him his birthday balloon. I found the stuff that I need for the Christmas party on Sunday. So by the way, let's talk about that too. There's lots of stuff to talk about today. Um, that is going to be this Sunday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Definitely come. There's going to be some gifts. And I'm having Saban with Coverminder Cover Saban, my good, good friend. I'm going to have her as my guest. 
And if you follow her on Instagram, you might have seen a little clip that she did a little preview of, um, you know, some things she's going to be wearing. So I kind of had to get some things too. And she got her stuff at the dollar store. So anyways, I got some stuff today. And I also got um, like some tissue paper, like Christmas uh, tissue paper for like gift bags and stuff and just some random things. And a few more Christmas cards I needed, which that's the place to go. Two Christmas cards for a dollar, two for a dollar. And they're nice. So if you need to send out a couple Christmas cards, I would re definitely recommend the dollar store. So I'm all proud of myself. I'm like, oh, you know, I went to the post office in a different city. I'm just, you know, I'm not used to. And I went to their Dollar Tree. Their Dollar Tree was really cool. It was fun to go to a different one than the same one I always go to. It was bigger, but it was busy. A lot of people there. And it was very uncomfortable. When I was in line, there was a guy in front of me that was trying to return something. And the lady wasn't letting him return it. And he started yelling at her. And I'm like right behind him. And I thought, oh my gosh, please, please. I don't want, I don't want any part of this. And, and he goes, I don't want any of this cheap crap anyways. <laughs> so I'm standing right behind you with a basket full of stuff and you're saying cheap crap. Well, excuse me, you, you came in here and bought something. You might want to return it now, but still you did buy something to begin with. And we like our cheap crap. We love the Dollar Tree. So yeah, she finally, and she apologized to me and I was like, it's okay. Cause he kind of, you know, made a stink about a lot of things. He finally left. But I was kind of nervous because he was like hanging out front and like pacing and like on the phone. And I thought, oh my gosh, please don't come in here and, and throw a big fit and make a big scene, buddy. I don't, I want to get out of here. So I got my husband a birthday balloon. I'm walking out to the car. I'm all like, yeah, I'm getting some stuff done while I'm on my mini vacation. So I'm walking out to the car, put the stuff in the trunk. And then I had that balloon. Good thing I only bought one because it went up to the sky and flew up. <laughs> I put it in my trunk and I was trying to push the button to close my trunk and I, I was trying to push it and keep my hand in there and the trunk was coming down and I was trying to keep the balloon, the balloon, the balloon is coming down. And then at the last second, the balloon's like, no, I, I'm getting out of here. See ya. Ooh. And I go to grab it, grab the string and it's like going near the car next to me and going above it. And I'm just watching it go up in the sky. Like, wow, there it goes. I'm actually watching the balloon. I just paid for it. Just fly away. And then I thought, Maybe that was meant to be. I'm like, maybe it'll make someone's day. Maybe someone else is having a birthday today and they'll see this happy birthday balloon floating up right above them. Or maybe it'll land in, a, in someone's yard that needed a little pick me up. I don't know. So who knows where that little guy went, but the balloon's gone. So I'm gonna tell my husband about that. That won't surprise him. That's pretty much me sometimes y'all. I don't, I probably could have done it a smarter way. I don't know, maybe put it in the back seat or maybe tied it to something before I try to close the trunk. Cause it was windy. So after that, I was like, oh man, okay. So I was like, I need some wine in the hotel room. So I looked up liquor stores and I'm like, cool. So here's the cool deal. All this stuff was only a mile away, mile and a half away from the hotel. So I went to the post office and I looked up Dollar Tree and the Dollar Tree is like in the same shopping center. Boop, go to there, look up liquor store. It's in the same shopping center. And then after I got done with the liquor store, I got a bottle of wine and I got a couple Christmas gifts. And then I looked up food because it was like 12 30 and I was hungry. I was like, okay, let's see what kind of food there is. Taco Bell came up in that same shopping center. I was like, I don't even have to leave. <laughs> I'm not much on exploring, checking out new places. I kind of, I don't know. I just, it's not my jam. I didn't even want the car to begin with. My husband's like, you sure you don't want to drop me off at work and you can have the car. And I'm like, no, you know me, I'm not going to go anywhere. I mean, I did, but y'all, I didn't go far. Right. I stayed in, in the same shopping plaza for like an hour and a half. I was like, okay. And after that, I was like, I'm going back to the room. I bought some uh, bottles of water at the Dollar Tree. So yeah, I got my wine for later and um, don't have a balloon. That's gonna be fun. Uh, so I've got to pick up my husband from work, uh, which is only about 15 minutes from here. He said about 5.30. And what time is it now? It's 3.39. So yeah, I still got time. So let's talk about the hotel. Super, super cute. Uh, it's like the best way I can describe it. Well, you'll know when I tell you how many rooms. It only has 39 rooms. So it's this like quaint, cute, rustic. It's out kind of in the, it's, a, and it's in a residential neighborhood is basically what it is. It's really cool. It's kind of boutique-ish, um, but not with the boutique prices. It's just kind of a small, uh, cute little hotel. And they like green. Again, this is not a green screen behind me. This is a, I don't even, the entire 
every room in here is green and in the bathroom it's all green and the tile in the shower is green. Mm -hmm. Now my husband was telling me that he, they also offer like a decorating package for like any holiday. And so I thought that would have been so cool if he would have gotten like the Christmas um, package for this room with all the green. Wouldn't that have looked amazing? I was like, ooh, that would have been fun. But that costs more money. So it's not needed. We don't need Christmas decorations. We're gonna be here for, let's see, we got here yesterday afternoon. And then um, we will be here until Friday, like Friday morning. We're gonna head out and make a couple stops. I'm very excited. Um, so tonight we're gonna go to dinner. He's taking me to a restaurant that he's been to once before. Um, we have reservations at seven. It's like, I think I'm gonna get salmon because they have some like, he showed me the menu last night or this morning. We went to um, Starbucks, uh, or no, Corner Bakery. Corner Bakery we went to this morning uh, before I dropped him off at work so I could get some food. So yeah, oh, a lot of these drills are sticking together. I can't even like grab one. They're all balled up. Uh, let's see, what else is about the hotel? Okay, so what we're what I'm excited about is what we're gonna do. So today, tonight we have reservations, like I said, at seven for dinner. And then tomorrow night is the company Christmas party and his birthday. So I did, um, the theme is Western because we are in Texas, y'all. It is Western themed. So my husband bought cowboy boots and a hat for this occasion. And I asked him, I said, I haven't seen him. I've seen him wear the cowboy hat, but I haven't seen the boots on yet. They're nice boots. So yesterday in the car, as we were driving up here, I'm like, so was that, was over with the hat and boots expensive? He's like, eh. yeah, I'm like, you better wear them more than once. He's like, yeah, I can see myself wearing the boots. Like, you know, in Dallas and around town, he goes, I don't know about the hat. I'm like, yeah, I don't know about, I just can't see him being a hat and boots kind of guy, but yeah. So he'll have a different look than I'm kind of used to seeing. But, and then uh, we head back Friday and what we're gonna do Friday is we are going to stop somewhere that I've wanted to go to for a very long time. Uh, we are stopping in Waco. It's on the way home. And we actually saw it on our way up. I saw them from a distance. Um, if you're familiar with uh, Chip and Joanna from um, Fixer Upper, you know, they used to have their show, which my husband was saying they actually have a show again on, he thought it was HBO, but I guess they're at it again. But they're the ones that decorate, you know, renovate and decorate the houses. And um, and then now they have, uh, they've really expanded. She's got Magnolia. They do. I mean, she's got stuff at Target. And so there's Magnolia um, Table, which is a restaurant. And then they also have the silos, which is like a big shopping, like spree. You can do like home decor. And I've never been. I've never been to Magnolia. And again, Waco's only about, we've talked about going on a road trip and doing it for like a weekend, but we've never done it. But Waco's only about an hour and a half from Dallas and we've never gone and we're finally so I did see the silos from a distance y'all let me know in the comments make sure and let me know if you've heard of Chip and Joanna if you're familiar with the silos and if you've ever been okay and let me know I'm curious to you know see if y'all if I need there's anything I need to know before I go so I was planning on doing a video there it might be my Christmas premiere video we'll see if it works out We'll see if it's any good and if it's you know worth showing on Christmas. I figured, um, you know, it would be, I wanted to do something different than just a traditional whip and chat. So I thought, um, and I was asking my Patreons, we had our monthly Zoom last week and I was asking if they had any ideas and uh, Karen Scott was like, yeah, she goes, I really liked when you did the Bucky shopping trip. And I thought I could do Bucky's again. And then, you know, my husband and I were talking about it, uh, what we were gonna do and how we were gonna to go to Magnolia. And he goes, you could have that be your Christmas premiere video. I was like, ooh, I could. I was like, but I kind of feel uncomfortable like filming in front of you. He goes, you don't, I can go off or you can go off and walk around and do what you gotta do. I'm like, okay. So, cause he has, he definitely doesn't wanna be on camera. So you won't see him in anything, but um, I will try to show y'all what it's like from my perspective. But I figured it'll be decorated for Christmas, right? So that could be really cool. So we're gonna do that on Friday on the way home. And then Friday night, we just made the plans last night. We are going over to our uh, friend's house for dinner. And we're, the reason why we're going over there in particular is we need to talk about spring break. This is the family that uh, we do Walt Disney World with over spring break. They've got two kids and we, they've grown up, our kids have grown up together and they're you know one of our best friends. And um, yeah, so we've done Disney multiple times together but this past year last year we did um or was it this year last year i don't know 
I forget, but we rented a house together and we all actually stayed together and it was really fun and the kids had a great time. And normally we have, uh, have our own hotel rooms, but so we thought the only way to really get together, like to get those plans moving and to see if we can make it happen price-wise and flights and, and hotel and all that uh, is to actually physically be together and have like our computer in front of us. And, you know, I say we, it's actually gonna be my husband. He is my uh, travel advisor. He's my travel agent. I am awful with planning those things. I'm not really, he's really good at researching and, you know, he even told me, he goes, hey, you know, while you're in the hotel this week while I'm working, you could start to research the trip and, you know, start looking up airfares. And I was like, no, no, I don't even know where to begin. He's always done all of our trips. When we lived over in China, he did our, I mean, he, that's, that's his job kind of, that's what he does. He does it well too. And I'm like, so I asked him, I said, okay, so if I were to try to help you, do I, and I know y'all are going to be like, oh my gosh, Shay, but I mean, do I use kayak? What do you use? I mean, I was asking my husband, I'm like, what do you use? <laughs> How do you start doing it? And he goes, oh, I get on American site and I get on United and, da, 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 da. and he was telling me all the things. And as I'm, I'm just looking at him going, mm, you lost me. Yes, y'all, I can do it. I know it's not hard, but he's so good at it. So we're going to let him do it. So the good thing is we're actually going to be going over there on Saturday. Now, I've got to break the news to them and I'm trying to decide if I should do it beforehand or just wait till we get there. I'm going to have to tell them about Oreo, our bunny. So they are the family that gave us Oreo. Uh, yeah. And if y'all are new to the channel, hi again, I hope you're still here. And we got a bunny mm, nine months ago or so from, from these friends and from their daughter. And we just recently rehomed the bunny about mm, two weeks ago or so, two or three weeks ago. I was going to check, I was gonna notify and check in with my with my friend, right? And I was gonna tell her, you know, this is what we're doing with Oreo. I just wanted to let you know, cause you know, they are the ones that, you know, gave them to us. But the more I started thinking about it, I'm like, eh, I don't, I don't, not that they don't care, but what are they gonna say? No, you have to keep them. So. I haven't told them that we no longer have Oreo. Now they did decide to keep one of the bunnies, I think. I think they still have one. So I don't know how Lou's gonna react to going over there and seeing a bunny that looks just like Oreo. She's been okay so far, actually. And that's why we got, that's why we rehomed the bunny because she wasn't, I'm gonna get a drink. She wasn't even interacting with them or taking care of them or she was scared of him and she never would hold him. He didn't like to be held, you know, the whole thing. If y'all have been here, you know. And if you have been here for a while, thank you all for coming back. I do appreciate it. Hold them a sec. Gotta hydrate y'all. You know what I did have this morning here in the hotel room? I don't think you can see it. It's like behind the chair over there, which is the outdoor chair, patio chair. Cause they don't have, it's a little, it's a little hotel room. They don't really have a, a desk and all that stuff. I'm just using the table that you can eat on. Um, they have an espresso machine. And I made myself a little Nespresso this morning and I might have one this afternoon. It was very strong. I mean, I have a Keurig at home, so I don't know what the difference is. I don't know if it's like espresso and is that different than what I, the Keurig pods I put in there are like donut blend, like donut shop. So maybe it's stronger, but it was good. It was very, very good. All right, where was I y'all? I lost my train of thought. Um, I took a few notes, but I don't think um, that I have, yeah, I've talked about all that stuff. All right. So what else is going on y'all? I cannot believe this. I did not even ask you guys how you were. I was so distracted by being face to face. I didn't even get a chance. How rude of me. I'm so sorry. Let me put my pen down. How are you? Uh, let me know down in the comments how y'all are. I mean it. I mean it. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I uh, love you guys and I want to know how you are and what you've been doing during this time. Did you diamond paint? Did you do errands? Were you in the car driving? Oh, y'all look at my shirt. I run on coffee. Ready? Here's the reveal and Christmas cheer. Yay. Yes. It's one of my Christmas shirts. You got to have your Christmas shirt on. Now the thing about Austin, we're right outside Austin, but the thing about Austin is um, it's humid here. It is. My hair has not been real happy. So that's why I put it in a braid. It's frizzy. It's very frizzy. 
So I had to put that up and I'm doing some diamond painting. The cool thing about this, um, the weather here, I was gonna tell y'all that it's like 70, let me see what it is right now. Get this. Wow. It's currently 81 degrees outside. I need to go walk around outside. Uh, I'm just right up against the uh, patio. I'm just using natural light coming in because I don't have a film light or anything. I did bring uh, all my diamond painting stuff. I brought a little lap desk that I can, and I was using it last night. I brought a little, uh, it's a little light that clips on. It's what I use in the bedroom to diamond paint. So I basically just brought it here and I've been working in the bed here. So I brace and I have my AirPods. So I was listening to some whipping chats last night while he was on conference calls in here. And I was able to just dye and paint away. And like I said, do Christmas cards. So I brought, I brought all my things. I'm glad I brought my lap desk. Uh, I brought all my materials to diamond paint with. I mean, I wasn't sure. It's, I kind of felt like it was going to be one of those situations where it's like a craft retreat or a trip you go on where you pack too much. I know a lot of people always talk about, um, the crafting retreats and how everybody always brings, you know, tons of projects. And of course they're only going to do one normally, if, if, if even one, normally you don't even finish one project. So, uh, yeah, I am, I, I wasn't sure I did bring something else and I don't think I'm going to get to it only because it's not kitted up. But I, when I was digging through my, um, everything to bring and my light and my everything, I was like, okay, what else could I bring? I'm like something small to do in the car. Cause this is kind of big to pull out in the front seat while my husband's driving. I was like, I don't think I can put this out maybe a distraction. So, and plus I didn't want to ignore him while he was driving, but we, uh, I decided I found these little stockings. They're about this big, but yay big. And they have like a little reindeer or a Santa that needs to be diamond painted. So I think there's two or three in a little pack. I, met, I think I got it from like a budget company like last year. I might've done a review for him. So I did that and well, I've got those with me, but, and I've got the drills, right? The pack of drills, but it's not kitted up. And I'm such a snob now about like, kit it up. I, I'm like, what am I going to do? Work out of baggies? They're going to be all open. I'm not going to have a piece of tape to tape up the bags again. I don't have my little Ziploc bags. I didn't, I didn't come prepared. So, but what I could do, I guess, since I don't keep the drills anyways, I guess I could probably just do those, finish them, and then throw them away, right? Not have to keep any of the, the drills. And I can just work out of baggies. It's not the end of the world, right, Elm? Shouldn't be the end of the world. Um, what else? So something else, we do drive an electric vehicle that needs to be charged. So that was one of the things we've had to do making a road trip like this. And my husband has to do whenever he comes down because he has an electric vehicle too, is you have to stop and charge. So that's been something kind of, and it's always kind of freaked me out knowing that I have an electric vehicle. I haven't had it for very long, but it's like long enough to know, oh, I don't, but I don't really go many places. I kind of just stick around town, but we did have to charge halfway yesterday um, halfway. And then we had to charge, there's no charging stations at the hotel, but we did have to charge, um, this morning while we were having breakfast. So you kind of have to just keep that in mind while you're, you know, while you have a, that's the one thing about taking a road trip with an electric vehicle, you get a little, you got to have it planned out of where your chargers are, are at and where you're going to stop. So that's one thing that I've kind of seen on this trip that I've never really had to do before because I've never had to charge my car. You know, I charge it at home in the garage. I, don't, I never charge it when we're out anywhere. I never have to look for chargers. So I'm pretty good about keeping it um, plugged in. So yeah, um, what else? So like I said, things that are coming up. Um, I do, ooh, yeah, I have been getting some deliveries at the house while I've been gone. Yep, so my mother-in-law is amazing. She is taking care of the household and keeping the fort, you know, holding down the fort. She is, she's so sweet, y'all. She checked in with me yesterday and told me that she um, got Lou okay, but that she was lost and she wasn't able to find where Ryan was um, because, you know, made, that's what I was saying. It kind of was a bummer that they didn't clear him to be able to drive because he's been too tired because that was the whole plan was for him to drive while we were gone. So then that way that was one less thing my mother-in-law had, had to worry about because it's not the easiest place to find. So, and I, even though I had showed her yesterday morning before we left, I took Ryan to his program and she still, um, she called us frantic and Lou is in the car there, but Lou's no help. She doesn't remember how to get there. Even though she goes with me every day, she's just, she's not paying attention. So good thing is my husband could look up her location on his phone and like walk her through how to find Ryan. And Ryan's calling me like, where's she at? 
So she was so cute. I was like, don't worry about it. She's like, yeah, yeah I don't want to be mad. I'm like, he's not going to be mad. He's fine. So uh, she sent me a message last night. She's like, woo. She's like, I did it. I just sat down. I fed, you know, everybody's been fed. Um, you know, the boys, you know, Nate put out the trash can with, the, with only one ask. And I'm like, yeah, they're, they're good kids, you know. They really are. So she said they're being really good for Nanny. So I was glad. And then this morning, she sent me a message saying everybody was off to their destinations. And they were going to be eating uh, Chinese food tonight. She's going to go pick up some Chinese food. We don't do Chinese food very much since we lived in China for so long. It's like, nah, we don't really kind of get burned out on it. So, but I know American Chinese food is a little different. So, but yeah, she's going to, she loves Chinese food. So we left her some cash, of course, so she can, you know, feed them. And oh, I, I'm not going to pick up any drills with this, y'all. I picked up the wrong tool. So yeah, the kids are getting spoiled. I'm sure the dogs are too. I miss my little doggos. But this has been good. Um, I know I'm going to feel like I probably should have been more productive. But at the same time, I don't want to feel like I don't need to be running around all the time. Part of, you know, taking a little mini vacation like this should be just because I don't have any responsibilities for like two days, three days. Well, he's well, two days, actually, today and tomorrow while he's working. And I should just be able I mean, I watch TV for like I have while I ate my Taco Bell. I ate for like almost two hours. I think it was an hour and a half. I watched. Um some true crime story, some documentary about this girl that, yeah, I watched that and it was commercials. It was on, um, some network. I forget. So it was cause it's the hotel TV. I wasn't streaming. So I, I had to watch commercials, which, Oh, y'all were so spoiled. Cause I have, um, I have uh, premium, I have YouTube premium, so I don't watch any ads. I'm not used to commercials. So yeah, I had to sit through commercials. So it made the show last even longer. But I just straight up got in the bed under the covers and was chilling. I'm like, man, I'm like, I need to get up and fill my web and chat or do something before it's time to go pick him up. I do need to feel like I've got something done. I should go for a walk. I was thinking, cause it is, you know, so nice out. There's the view that I'm looking at right now is fantastic. There's water. It's a, it's not a lake. I don't think it's part of a lake. It's like a pond. And then there's these beautiful trees on the other side of it. And I can see some cranes, some egrets, some birds. And uh, But the, the trees are all fall. So really, really pretty. But I can't believe how warm it is. I mean, it's going to be warm all, while we're here. But it's also warm in Dallas, too. doesn't seem like a huge um, weather difference. But there's a little bit of one. So, yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, decide what to do with my time. I'm like, do I just straight up, like, chill? I mean, I did do a couple things this morning, right? Tried to. I dropped off Christmas cards, so I was, yeah. But after I ate that Taco Bell, I was like, oh, why did I do that? Y'all, I love Taco Bell, but I just feel like a, like a bricks in my stomach afterwards. I had a lot. I probably ordered too much. I got a Mexican pizza. I got a burrito supreme, and then I got a taco. Yeah, it's a lot. But I can eat, y'all. I can eat. So I was thinking maybe, because, you know, this is all residential over here. The cool thing is they, um, I don't know if I told y'all, but what, how this was built is it's all, uh, the original house that was on this property is a restaurant and it's just right next to the building that I'm in. So that's there still. And they had this, the land around it. So they have two buildings, building A and building B. And, uh, the house in the center was the original house. That's the restaurant. It's called the Ruby something, Ruby, Ruby bar. So yeah, it's very, very cool. So that's, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do tonight for dinner, but I hope I can eat. But I'm thinking maybe if I go for a walk, since it is in the uh, in a neighborhood, I can just kind of stroll. I didn't bring any tennis shoes. I brought flip-flops and these, like, slip-ons, like loafers kind of things to go with, like, jeans. So, and then, of course, I have my, my Western wear for the party. <laughs> I brought my, I brought boots, but they're not those kind of boots. They're, like, they're, they're heels that are brown like boots um, and they have like a little peekaboo toe and they kind of look, they're like, they're kind of like, they're brown. So I thought, eh. And then I have a little, I didn't buy a dress for the, the party. I already had a dress. It's not fancy at all. So I'm glad it's casual. And it's, I got it from Target a long time ago. It's kind of boho looking. It's kind of got like the, the, um, the flowy sleeves and it's like a maroon. Yeah, it's got some, it's got some like flowers on it, but I did bring a little jean jacket to make it more Western. So yeah, I'll wash my hair tomorrow. 
and get all gussied up for that. And then, yeah, I'll tell y'all how it went on Sunday if you're on my live or I'll tell you in the next whipping chat how the parte went. But I think that's gonna be it for this one, you guys. Um, I think I'm gonna go for a walk. Like I said, I got this done. I brought my computer, so I'll uh, start, you know, processing it and doing all that stuff. The Wi-Fi seems pretty good here. And while that's doing that, I'll, uh, I need to go for a walk. I need to walk, walk off that Taco Bell. Yes, and then we go come back and have an espresso on the patio. Yes, and chill again. I can chill, y'all. I have no qualms about that. But then I kind of start to feel like a slug, so you know. But I got some diamond painting in. That's good. So hopefully y'all got some stuff done during this time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and listening to all my stories. I do appreciate y'all so very much, more than you know. I hope y'all can make it on Sunday. It's gonna be super silly, but that's how we roll, right? That's how we do it. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Yes, you gotta have fun. I mean, I haven't even asked Saban yet, but I wonder if she's gonna dance it in with me. You know, I normally don't dance it in with guests, but she might be up for that. It's a Christmas party, why not? Yep, there's one other thing I need to get for the party that I don't have yet. Something that's gonna be sprinkled. I haven't been able to find it yet, but I'll get it. So y'all definitely come. Hopefully you're there on Sunday for our little, like I said, there'll be some, some uh, not giveaways, but some gifts. There is going to be gifts. So hopefully you can make it. If not, watch the replay. You know, I understand. I, you know, can't make a lot of lives either. I totally understand. So if you can't, no worries, but we'd love to see you there. Uh, I didn't, I brought tweezers, but they're in my bag. I'll say I got like a little, I got a dog hair, but there's no dogs here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up and it's 4.02. And he said he would be done around 5.30. So if I get my button gear, I'm just gonna sit back for a minute, y'all. Yes, I'm gonna sit back and just chill for a minute in my green room. And I did see pictures of the hotel um, on their website and they have like blue rooms, green rooms, um, I only saw blue and green. I'm sure they have others, but there's only 39 rooms here. So it's pretty small, but super cute. Yeah, my Patreon's got to see, like I said, a little, I did a little um, vlog this morning of kind of walking the property and checking it all out. So yeah, it's cute. I, he did a good job picking out a hotel for us. So I'll let y'all go. I'm probably gonna put my AirPods on and maybe listen to some music and get some exercise in. Do a little walk around these neighborhoods. I don't need my... I'm not gonna like go jogging, so I don't think I need tennis shoes. I'll probably just put my little loafers on, my little black slides, and just take a little walk around and see some sights. Yeah. There's also a downtown area, which is only like one block over. So I could actually do that too. It's funny, I was feeling very ambitious this morning and I was like, how far is the post office from here? And I looked it up and it said it was a 24 minute walk. And at first I was like, okay, you know, that would be a good, nice little walk there and back. And then I looked up the directions to see where it was and where I had, like, what kind of walk, like, where you had to walk. And I was going to be walking under 35, which is a major interstate. And I was like, mm, probably not a good idea with my big old batch of Christmas cards. <laughs> like, people would have thought I was crazy. Like, I don't need to be getting too crazy here. So, but yeah, I think a little residential walk just around the hotel would be good. And plus it's nice out. It was sprinkling earlier, but it's just overcast now. Excuse me. All right. So hopefully, again, you know, y'all got some stuff done. Hopefully you're doing okay. Um, if y'all enjoyed this, uh, please give me a thumbs up. They really do help. And so if you enjoyed it, thumbs it up. And then if you have not subscribed, it is free. So there's a subscribe button. Bleh. There's a subscribe button down below. Click on that. And then right next to it, if you want to be notified whenever I post up any new videos, there's a little bell. And if you click on that notification bell and click on all, then you'll be set with me, okay? All right, y'all, um, love to have you. Thanks for being here, and I hope you come back. Uh, love you guys. Uh, take care, and hopefully I'll see you on Sunday. Okay, bye, guys.